ductile bacteria and archaea generally swim using rotary flagella which are helical propellers that drive the cell forward. E. coli bacteria have 2 to 6 flagella randomly distributed around the cell. During an uninterrupted run in which the cell moves steadily forward, all the flagella spin counter-clockwise as a bundle. Periodically, one or more flagella reverse their rotation to clockwise, disrupting the entire bundle and causing the cell to tumble. The cell ends up pointing in a random direction. Soon, all of the flagella again rotate in the counter-clockwise direction and the cell swims forward. The repeated course of swimming and tumbling result in what is known as a random walk. This video shows E. coli bacteria swimming and tumbling, reorienting and swimming again. Most flagellated cells have an elaboratory sensory system that enables them to swim towards favorable environments that contain attractants such as nutrients and away from the inferior environments that contain repellent signals such as waste products. This sensory system is known as chemotaxis. In E. coli, the flagella bundle together behind the one pole of the cell while the opposite pole contains a diversity of chemotactic receptors. When the cell moves away from an attractant, that is, down the concentration gradient of the attractant, the receptor sends signals that trigger one or more flagella to rotate clockwise. The bundle flies apart, causing the cell to tumble and then swim in the new random direction. As the concentration of an attractant increases, the cell generates fewer signals to switch flagella rotation and the cell tumbles less often. The pattern of movement in chemotaxis is called a biased random walk in which the cell tends to migrate towards the attractant. In contrast, a random walk has more frequent changes in the direction and shorter runs.